AX2 VKW, low frequency reception on 507 kHz. You might remember a video from last year of low frequency reception. It was Drew VK3XU about 50 km from here, transmitting on 137 kHz. Currently Drew is running a test beacon on weekend afternoons on 507 kHz. Today we'll see how the signals compare. Just like last time, I'm using the FT817 and a homebrew converter. This uses a 4 MHz crystal and an NE602. sign being sent is AX2 VKW. It's a strong signal about S8 on the scale. Only the ferrite rod antenna in the converter is used. You might remember that to get a similar strength signal last time I needed an external antenna and even then I don't think it was quite as strong as this. Obviously the transmitting and receiving antennas are both more efficient on 507 kHz than they were on 137, hence the stronger signal. The next thing I'll do is I'll try another receiver, an AM broadcast set that actually can tune down to 507 kHz. Let's have a listen. This is the Sony SRF59 Walkman receiver. Though it's only a consumer type radio, its performance is unusually good. This one also tunes just below 500 kHz. You might not be able to hear it very well, but the more signal is just discernible. Now we'll see what happens when we bring up the loop antenna. AX2 VKW So what's the verdict? 507 kHz is clearly superior to 137 kHz for distances of around 50 km. This is largely probably due to the higher efficiency obtainable at the higher frequency. In addition, 507 kHz was superior to 1800 kHz over this 50 km long path. Frequencies around 500 kHz offer excellent coverage for a metropolitan region. It is therefore probably no accident that the authorities gave most of the lower frequencies to the ABC stations and allocated poorer performing frequencies at the top end of the dial to the commercial stations.